Okay, so today I'm here on a routine maintenance on a Honeywell slash Generac generator. This generator ran for an, a little, a couple hours overfilled last year. I did the maintenance since then once, and now I'm back doing the maintenance again. It's the following year. But what I want to check while I'm doing my maintenance, I have the plugs out. Let's just quickly just check the compression on the engine just to make sure that the overfill didn't do any damage. I'm sure it didn't. But I just want to make sure because I'm really not 100% sure if you overfill it excessively besides oil spraying everywhere, which is what happened. We had oil on everything. I still have some oil in spots all over as you can see it sprayed everywhere in the generator it came out the air filter soaked and saturated that let's get this on I just want to see we're looking for about 160 plus minus 30 I think is what it said in the book but okay that's on As I'm doing the maintenance I did a battery maintenance already I don't want to bore you guys do all the small stuff until I get to the point of what I'm doing let's see how do I get this this okay. let's try it again so we're close second time around and I, that time around Pretty good. Um, it's not 160, but it's right under it, so I'm happy with that. Check the other side. The engine's been running fine. I'm just checking this while I'm here now, just to make sure everything's okay with this generator. Because the last thing I want is service calls where I have to run out here. Let me just get this in here. This is the tougher the two to get on because of the angle. But it's in, I'm threading it. Feels tight because we don't want any air leaks while we're doing this. Our connection. All right. Here we go. Oh, 
A lot better compression in the back. Okay, I don't need to do it again. I can definitely tell that this is fine. So I have better compression on the back end and the front end. But my compression's still good on both. So, from this engine getting overfilled, I don't think they did any damage that will screw around with the compression. Even though everything in the generator got soaked and saturated. Even though everything here did get soaked and saturated. Let's just redo this one. Never hurts to redo a test. Straight on though, it looks like it's actually different than what we're thinking. <laughs> If you guys can in the statement in the comment section, let me know all of the damages that can happen from a machine getting overfilled with oil. I really would like to know. I mean, this is my customers usually don't overfill their generators, but this one they did. So I just wanted to do a quick compression test just to make sure that they didn't damage anything with the rings or anything inside. So, well, till next time, I'm out.